So you guys, I found these new Katy Perry CoverGirl matte lipsticks on a whim at the drugstore and I haven't been like excited and gone on a makeup hunt in a while and I found these and I was on the hunt and I was so excited. So I found only a couple colors at the first drugstore I went to and then I proceeded to call like nine or ten different drugstores and like Walmart and different brands of drugstores to try to find more of these and I couldn't find them anywhere. I actually think whoever put out the display at the first place I went to put it out by mistake because I went back today to look again and the whole display had been pulled even though there were still a couple colors. So on the display here in Canada it looks like we're getting nine of the eleven colors um, and there are only these four available when I went. Um, so I grabbed them and I was gonna wait to see if I could get the, more before I filmed the review But I thought I'd film the review and if I found more I'd film a part two to the review So Katy Perry has uh, teamed up with CoverGirl to do her own line of matte lipsticks um, I found mine at Rexall Drugs, but again, like I said, they pulled them um, I've heard some people found them at Shoppers Drug Mart too uh, In the US they've popped up at Walgreens and they're available for pre-order on Walmart.com um, and I think they ship out on May 15th or something, so um, there's kind of a bit of a lag time. In the US, in uh, Walmart, they're $6.95, and then in Walgreens, they're $8.95. I found these for $12.95 here, which is kind of a lot to stomach, because you're like, why does it have... Like, I know the exchange rate isn't great, but I didn't think it was that bad. So, yeah. Um, I really, really like these, and I'm kind of excited about the colors that I found, because they probably wouldn't have been the colors... I mean... So the purple is one I probably would have picked anyways, um, but like this one is not one I would have picked for myself, and I actually really, really love it. So, um, yeah. Let's talk about formula for a second. The formula is nice and comfy on these. They are a matte. I wouldn't say they're like the most like super, super, super like stark dry matte, which is in terms of a look, which is good because it means they're also not bad on the lips. You can wear them all day long, and you it, it's not the same as wearing like a gloss or a, um, a lip balm, but it is... It, it's comfy on the lips all day long. Um, it's not a stain and it's not a long wearing lipstick so if you eat something with a lot of oil in it or you're drinking out of a cup you will get transfer and it will wear off um, but it, it's not like a creamy cream lipstick where like the minute you touch your lips anything it's gone if that makes sense. Um, the packaging, you know what I'm gonna zoom you in to show you the packaging and show you some swatches. So yeah the packaging is this lovely matte like the kind of like the NARS rubberized it says Katie Cat matte on the front and on the back uh, Katy Perry heart cover girl and then you have the color on the bottom and I think they're a really cute touch on the bottom is the little cat ears and then the name and they're all named um, kind of cat themed so yeah I really really like them and I think I'm gonna try to track down some more of these because I've, I've really been enjoying them so let's just let's talk about them so this one is the unexpected hit uh, it's magenta minx or KP03 so like I said it's the one on my lips I don't think it's a true magenta um, more of like a hot pinky color but you guys know I have trouble with these colors so the fact that I really enjoy it is a huge testament to um, how awesome the color is uh, so like I said that one is magenta minx and KP03 this is not just like totally my kind of color uh, so this one is in KP08 Cosmo Kitty and that's a hand swatch there um, she was wearing this one for a lot of the press hold on some mirrors well, yeah. she's wearing this lipstick and a bunch of the press that she did for the um, line and I think it's really pretty. This one uh, you kind of need to build it up a little bit. It's not quite as opaque as the other one um, but it is a lovely color. I didn't mention before but these do have a little bit of a fragrance smell. Nothing too over the top and it kind of dies down pretty quickly but it is something that you notice when you're first applying it so I thought I would mention it. So this one is in Crimson Cat or KP05. It's a really nice my lip lines are so janky. Um, I swatched a bunch of the sleek lipsticks right before this, so they're just all over the place. But I'm loving it, and dude, more lipstick. I'm going to be one of those old ladies with like totally uneven lipstick lines, and lipstick on her teeth, and blue eyeshadow with fallout, and just rocking it and owning it. Um, it's a very true red. Um, it pulls, it's, it's, I would say more blue tone, um, but not like one of those amazing ones that makes your teeth super red, super white. Uh, but it is a really lovely uh, red in the collection, and I've got one more to share with you guys. Oh, I was gonna mention, I love how matte. So when they go on, it's matte, so you don't you don't worry about bleeding and stuff. But it also they also glide on like a dream. It's a really nice uh, formula in a matte lipstick. And at a drugstore, I mean in the U.S. at a drugstore price here, they're basically charging me for a matte lipstick. Um, but um, but yeah, that I think that's really lovely about the formula. So. 
two thumbs up. Okay, and this is the last one I found. It's in Maroon Meow, and this is totally me color. I like that it's um, kind of that vampy color I like, but it's a little bit different than anything I have. Um, it's kind of similar to Max Rebel, but I find that it's, I don't know, a little matter and a little more purple. Um, it's kind of like Mac Rebel and Diva combined almost. So yeah, it's a really pretty color and I really enjoy it. Um, points of positivity? Let's do it. <laughs> my first point of positivity is lipstick swatch videos. They always leave me in so much better of a mood in. So much better of a mood than when I started. <laughs> um, so that's the first one of positivity. My second is a new line of lipstick that got me so excited and got me on the hunt, which is awesome. And then my third point of positivity is a good productive day today to just, um, makes me happy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know if you pick any of these up and your thoughts on them, and if you've picked up any that I didn't find that you know I need to have so I can keep an extra eye out for them. I will talk to you guys ever so soon, but before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.